I'm, I, I guarantee Layla, she's into dance, but my next child will be Drop Step Duncan. I promise. <laughs> I'm still. Hey, what up, everybody? Welcome to Fresh Talk. We're chilling. This segment we like to call Who Dat? And on today's segment, we have Candace Parker. Yo, Who Dat? Candace Nicole Parker is American basketball player for the Chicago Skies, an NBA analyst on TNT, and was selected first overall draft pick in 2008 by the Los Angeles Spark. First, she said Candace, and I was like, okay, it's not, because there's Candace Wiggins. So I was like, okay, it's not clear yet. So then I heard Parker, and I was just, you know, really, really, really excited about it. She's a versatile player, mainly plays the forward position. In high school, she won the 2003-2004 Gatorade National Girls Basketball Player of the Year Award, becoming just the second junior and the only woman to receive the award twice. In the round! Candace, congratulations on being the first winner ever of the Powerhead Jam Fest. The first woman winner. Thank you. Parker was born in 1986 to Sarah and Larry Parker in St. Louis, Missouri. She has two older brothers, former NBA basketball player Anthony Parker and Marcus Parker, who is a doctor. So Parker and her family moved to Naperville, Illinois at the age of two, where she spent her childhood. Her family loved basketball and she began playing at an early age. Her father helped coach and critique her. A lot of times she was better than the other kids and would just coast. So sometimes coming home from practice, he would kick her out of the car and make her run home. I was, gr I gr I was brought up where you finish what you start. And to be able to see my grandma on her face mm. when she saw that I was coming home, I mean, I, I think that just... During her youth in Chicago, she grew up loving the Chicago Bulls and was a Michael Jordan fan, but her all-time favorite player was Ron Harper. She had a dog named Prada and previously had a St. Bernard mix named Fendi, whom appeared with her in an anti-fur ad for PETA. I feel very passionate about the fur campaign for PETA. I really feel like it's very cruel what they do to animals, and I love my dog and couldn't imagine anybody harming her. All right, so our accolades are way too long to list, so I'm just going to have a voiceover do that. So let's see. Um, Freddie, the cause of the national situation, you do not wish to challenge you. I'm not worth the caliber of justice to indicate that the right hand of the city was from a place where the mighty part of the same was mighty part of the same. The R.S.S. known with the crew in my hand of gold and the caliber of the person's at Kool-Aid and Kenai. Yeah. Like older brother Anthony Parker, she attended Naperville Central High School in Naperville, Illinois. She averaged about 22 points a game, 13 rebounds, led to two state titles in 2003 and 2004. And it's said that she's the first female in all of Illinois to dunk in a competition. She was 15 years old. When did you realize that you actually had the potential to be good? I think when I was like 14 or 15. 14 and 15? Yeah, when I was 14 or 15, I, I dunked uh, the basketball. At the age 14 or 15? Yeah, so I was like, I could probably make this something that I could do. Steroids. <clears throat> why would you spread those rumors? Performance drug. On March 19, 2006, in an NCAA tournament first round game against Army, she became the first woman to dunk in an NCAA tournament dunk. game. There it is! Then became the first woman to dunk twice. She would then forego her final year at Tennessee and focus on the 2008 Olympics and her professional career. I was a little nervous when I first walked on the set, but by the end, you know, I'm laughing and talking and not asking for my robe. And, <laughs> and after being selected in the WNBA draft, she signed a long-term endorsement deal with Adidas and Gatorade. All right, and she was married to Sheldon Williams for about eight years. They had a home at $3.8 million. They broke up. She got a home in Tarzana for $4 million, even though her net worth's at five. Then she went to the Chicago Sky, so she probably lives with her mama. And in 2001, after 13 seasons with the Sparks, she signed a two-year deal with the Chicago Skies. It was a difficult decision, but ultimately, um, I'm very excited and, and proud to be able to, to come home. Adding she followed her heart, Parker says she's passionate about helping the Sky win a championship. And that show. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit a comment down below. Maybe who you want to see next. It's in the fridge. Lights are out. The eggs are cool. And butter's getting hard. And soup kids cooking. We out.